This is a brief overview of Idera's SQL Defrag Manager. With SQL Defrag Manager, you can manage your entire enterprise's SQL Server indexes. You can set up a policy-based defragmentation schedule, view alerts, view reports, and even customize your defragmentation options, setting the def defragmentation triggers, the priorities, the limits, and setting the fill factors. To work with SQL Defrag Manager, use the window at the top or the navigation pane on the left to explore your SQL instance. At the top of the window, you can register a SQL instance. You can run an analysis to see how fragmented your indexes are. You can run an ad hoc defragmentation job to either rebuild or reorg your indexes. Or you can set up an automation schedule in a sort of a set it and forget it fashion. In the navigation pane, you can see all your SQL instances, the databases underneath those instances, the tables underneath those databases, and you can actually even navigate all the way down to the indexes themselves. At any level within SQL Defrag Manager, you can right-click and run either a fast, thorough sampled, or a thorough detailed analysis of your index fragmentation. You can also run defrags. Uh, either reorgs, rebuilds, or rebuilds online. It's important to note to do a rebuild online, you need an enterprise version of SQL Server. If you go all the way down to an index itself, you can right click on it and actually adjust the fill factor. The real advantage of a product like this is that you can you can automate the management of your entire enterprise's indexes using an easy-to-use, wizard-driven policy. In the automation policy, you can register all your SQL instances, pick the different databases that you want to have incorporated in your policy. Um, easily, you can choose all of those indexes and tables and databases. Again, you have the same options for fast analysis, thorough sample analysis, or thorough detailed analysis. You can progress through the wizard and pick the different thresholds that you would like to apply to your policy. You can either use fragmentation or scan density or both if you so desire. You can adjust the thresholds to your liking. And then you can apply filters. Filters allow you to not include indexes below a certain page count or to exclude indexes or tables that have huge amounts of pages. You can also set the order of operation to control how you defragment your SQL instances. The options are fragmentation descending order, scan density ascending order, page count descending order. You can also choose how many of the indexes you want to rebuild at any given time. A lot of people will choose a certain percentage. For example, maybe I would like to defragment 20% of my total indexes every night trying to touch each index once a week uh, using this 20% method. Progressing through the wizard, you can next choose your response. Do you want to run a reorg, a rebuild? You can decide if you want to rebuild online, if you want to sort in TempDB, as well as if you'd like to update statistics. You can also add a schedule. To your schedule can be at a regular interval, it could be daily, you can run once. You can decide if you want to run certain days of the week, Monday through Friday, Saturday or Sunday, whatever's right for you. And you can also give this restrictions for when it operates. For example, I could say rebuild my indexes, but only rebuild in this window, 12 to 4 a.m. on any given day. Progressing through the wizard, the next area you can go to is resource checks. Resource checks are available to allow you to put thresholds on this job so that if you're rebuilding or reordering your indexes and someone is using your SQL instance, you can abort the rebuild or reorg and allow whatever production work was required to go through. Some of the resource checks that are available are CPU load for SQL Server, CPU load for Total Server, uh, a specific job that might be running, or a specific job count. Also, the total number of people logged into the SQL instance. For example, if at night 
usually you have one or two people logged into the SQL instance, and during the day you have 50 people logged into the SQL instance. By turning on this resource check, you can say if five or more people are logged into the SQL instance, we're going to abort the rebuild of the indexes and allow you to do your production work. When the policy executes, if there's any problems or failures, we can set up alerts so that you're notified appropriately so that if there are any issues with your defragmentation or rebuild, that you're notified in a timely fashion. At the top of Defrag Manager, you'll also see that we have an alert history. If there have been any issues, you can go back and view that history. You can also view the recent activity so you can see what operations have occurred with Defrag Manager. And lastly, we also have reports available within this tool. So if you need a report on index count, on all registered objects, on top 10 fragmented indexes, top 10 largest indexes, they're easy to run within the tool. If you'd like to download and trial Defrag Manager, you can go to www.idera.com and download a two-week trial from our website.